guys, welcome to my second video, my first review video of my new channel. And today, since it is my first review, I wanted to do something special, which was a big set. So I am doing the Firehouse Headquarters from the Lego City line. And I guess we could start off on this small set over here. So you can see we just got um, one of the radars for connections. Uh, a new molded piece for the speakers over here, and there's one on both sides of that. And it's um, labeled garage number one because there are three vehicles in here. And it has the actually garage, which I never seen before. And this is the li this is the smaller one for the chief's car, which is one of the smaller builds of the set. And that um, has a couple stickers on it. I think three. Yeah. Three, there's one on the back, one on the top, and one down here. This is actually a printed piece, which is cool. And inside, you have a spot for one minifigure and a breathing apparatus to go on the back. It just connects there, sliding in here and connecting to that stud or jumper. And then you could just put the roof back on, if I can't, and then just load it back from the top. Pull this down. Yeah, whatever, I'll leave that open. Here's a door for access to get in here and then open the garage. And I'll get to this section in a minute, but right now I'll take a look at this section. This is the larger one that is number two, which you can see right here. Uh, this is the second speaker piece in the set. And here on top is the helipad, which actually shows number three. So there you have one, two, and three. This is actually in yellow, and it holds the small helicopter. The second, I mean, second smallest vehicle, the smallest was the car. And it's a, field, um, a tank helicopter, so it has a resembled tank here full of water, where you have uh, the new stud shooter released for this line, um, which is the yellow one. Uh, which actually has the ball joint connector at the end and oops, and actually a vertical straight line instead of an angle one so it could be straight if you hold it in your minifigure's hands it does shoot um, over here there's a floodlight so just little um, accessor I don't really get how this might make sense how is he supposed to shoot it um, maybe stick his arm out and press the thing or something but it opens up with the old um, old canopy piece that they used on helicopters forever. Two little joysticks, a spot for one little minifigure. The simple rotors up here. Um, smaller rotor on the back. These are stickers right here and here. Um, these are stickers on the sides. And down here you have the mailbox thing. Well, it's a mailbox piece, that's what I call it. And then you open that and there's extra studs for your cannon up here. And, and I really like the engine detail. They don't really do that on a lot of um, helicopters. So I'll put that back and open up uh, probably my favorite part of the set. The main fire truck. I'm just going to take it out the back. It's kind of stuck in there. Come on. Uh, it gets stuck sometimes, that's why it's hard. Oh, there we go. And here's the main truck. It's very cool. It's the actually largest one from the series. Um, the ladder is very cool. That's why it makes it my favorite, and that's why I really wanted to get this truck in the set. And I actually measured this, and it could extend to over, just over two feet. If you fully do it completely up. Mayday, mayday. Okay, so you could actually extend these Technic bars even higher to get it to, to get it to go as high as it can. And then, you know, kind of just bend this down and stuff. And that is over two feet. It's all, it's the size of two rulers and it has stickers on the sides of them nice um resembled hydraulic boost and here they have 
foldable stands so it doesn't um, completely take the weight off of the truck when you have it in a large extension mode and are like turning it to the side like this it will fall over you can kind of see it leaning like that um, it does kind of tend to come off easily but um, here they have the new uh, the same new ball piece attached to a giant reel which uh, I don't think it can extend all the way up when it's just completely straight up but that is there and it extends very long here you have the little trap. I don't know if this is just here for to hold the ladder in there because you see it's just attached by like one of the little minifigure stands in there. So uh, I guess you could remove it and use it to block off traffic so nothing happens. And on the other side there is... What the? What is it? Oh, that must be from the other part of the set. And... So, in here you have a little hook to hold the minifigure accessories and two little opening hatches to put minifigure accessories. The big one over here is to hold extra water. I don't want to spill them all out, so let me tilt it. I think there's five in here and five in the helicopter. So, you got um, 12 shots from the ones already loaded in the stud shooters and the 10 extras. So, um, you can actually fit... It's a six stud wide, obviously it's a giant truck, so you could actually fit one minifigure in there, but I figured out that you can actually f um, fit the Dalmatian of the set in there, but you kind of got to take off the front section, and he will go in there, so you could put him in there with another driver and put this back on. I'm just going to leave him in there. I'm not going to put the driver in right now because I'll show you the minifigures late later, so... I'll just keep this over here while yeah, while we could get to the main part of the structure, the middle, and here on the top you got the fire logo, uh, antenna, some radar bars over here, and a resembled AC unit or climate control unit, whatever you want to call it, and then the um, always special fire pole going down the whole layer, and right here you see a guy in the window. Because both of these um, are the window frames, but no windows, so you could actually supposedly jump out onto the pole. So let me turn this around so you can see the inside of it. So you can see here you got um, bunk beds, one set of bunk beds up there. I got one guy up there, so you could fit two. And I also had the Dalmatian sitting right here, so you could fit. All the guys in there, although one of them won't have a bed, so he might just like be sitting over here or something. And you could also put the Dalmatian in there, like I already said. So, in here, um, here's this guy. So, the other firefighters down there, there's three, four firefighters and a chief, but one of those firefighters is the pilot. So, this is going to be how the pole works. So, let me just take him out. So you would bring this up here, and of course it's just a resemblance. He wouldn't have to bring the thing up and then slide down. He'd just jump on it. But you could do this and let go, and then he'll slide all the way down. And you could do that with all of them. It's kind of hard to get them off, though, so I'm just going to leave him here for now. And on the inside, here is the second floor, is the chief's office. Um, he has a swivel chair and his nice golden hat, but we'll look at the minifigures later. I'll just take him out. So you can see the control panels. He has a little keyboard right here, the computer screen, and then a radar thing. Over here he has a nice big sticker of his dispatch units, which is actually cool because it kind of resembles the sets with the water over here because it does have the fire boat on there. And here is the main floor, which is probably my favorite um, mostly because it has this revolving door but I'll just move her out of the way so you can see that better it's just four of the I call them glass capsule pieces because usually that's what I see them used for but there's just four of them so you can make it turn you could actually fit a minifigure in there it's kind of hard to do it with their breathing apparatus on there but there. he kind of got stuck on the wall if you saw that so well, I should say she, that's the girl one. 
And in here you have a waiting room with the firefighter pilot. Um, so supposedly a coffee maker with a coffee pot. You also probably saw the coffee mug up here. And now let's take a look at the minifigures. Okay, got all the minifigures. Okay. One more minifigure that I kept off to the side. I'm gonna get him right now. Okay, so. Here are the minifigures. I'll start off with the one that I didn't actually have out here. So this is the hot dog stand worker. He has the nice lime green hat color, which I like. And a uh, standard face. I think I've seen this face before, but it's not that common. Um, he has the classic chef torso piece with the yellow hands. Nice buttons, detail, and a tie, and just normal light gray torso. There's nothing really about him. There's the back printing, too. Okay. Oh. Nothing too special about him. And here's the pilot minifigure. He has the normal race car helmet with the um, clear visor, which you can lift up and down. Uh, let me take that off so you can see the head better. Now he has the silver goggles with the metallic silver and the smile. That's on a lot of city guys. And he has little straps coming down from his vest onto his legs. He has... Um, Gauge systems, I can never pronounce that word. Um, so just pockets, safety vest, and then on the back of him he has walkie talkie and the fire logo. So here is the male, one of the male firefighters. He's the one who's usually having the breathing apparatus on. Uh, I, they use this face specifically for city sets. The sweating face, which is kind of perfect for a firefighter because he's going to be inside um, buildings that are on fire so he does have the breathing apparatus there are um, three of them in the set so you could put one on each firefighter if you want to because the other one was in the chief's car um, so yeah oh I'm just realizing this is the girl sorry that's the girl face the other one I'll show you but they have that and the the um, back of the printing is the same for the male and the female. Um, it's almost the same to the, fire, uh, the pilot with the gauge systems, too, but a little less detail on the front. Now, here is the male firefighter. That's the one you see down the pole. This is the sweating face I was talking about. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that because I'm basically looking at the back of the minifigure right now. But I like that face, it's sweating. They also use it on some volcanoes sets. And the same breathing apparatus, head, the exact same body printing too. And here is the last fighter fighter. He, on the box art at least, it says that he's the one that's not supposed to have the breathing apparatus on. And he has some little um, ash or suit on his face, whatever you want to call it. The same fire hat. Almost same torso, but it's actually, I think, the same as the pilot with the walkie-talkie on the back and some more gauge systems. And I like this face, too. It's, um, these, um, this one and the male firefighter are one of my favorite, fa two of my favorite faces. And he has the same leg printing as the other firefighters. And here is the last minifigure, the chief. I really like this gold helmet. That's mostly what I like about this guy the most. He has the um, very cool headpiece, um, head, sorry, that um, I use a lot on many figures because it's just so general and easy to put on anybody. And he has the tie, normal badge, dress suit. He's not really in any firefighting gear because he's mostly going to spend his time at the office and dispatch. The back of the torso is very simple, just a walkie-talkie with his belt and some back of the shirt detail and just plain black legs. And actually the last part of the set, but I kept for last as a surprise, was actually the hot dog cart, which that's where the turkey leg fell from, was over there. And so on the sides you got um, ketchup, 
and mustard dispensers, which are really cool and clever builds. And then the old style umbrella piece, which I think is new for green. That kind of kind of looks a little bit big on here, but it is four studs wide, and the minifigure can hold it with these and walk. And in here you have um, one turkey turkey leg and two sausages. And this is actually the thing in the set that's supposedly catching on fire. So you could get your little fire piece that's in all of the fire sets and put it here and to use the stud shooters to try to knock it off. But the kind of weird thing about the set is I don't get why the entire fire squad is rushing out just to put out a tiny little hot dog stand. It doesn't really make any sense, but they had to put something to put out in the this set. So... Thank you guys because that was my very first review video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, also leave a dislike. I appreciate your opinion and please comment below and I'll see you very soon.